Hi, this is Dominique Finney and I'm with the National Herbalist Association of Australia Sydney Seminar Series and it's November 2011. Um, it's also the AGM for the National Herbalist Association and with me I have our new Vice President Erica McIntyre. Hi Erica. Hi Dom. How are you? I'm really good. Great. Now yeah. you're from Blackheath up in the Blue Mountains. Yep, that's right. And you've got a practice up there? Yes, I do. Yes, I've got a practice from home at the moment. Excellent. Mm. Can you tell me what your preferred work is in herbalism? Yeah, I um, have a special interest in mental health. I've just um, completed my honours degree in psychology and I'm planning to become a registered psychologist over the next two years. So that's mm. the main area of focus. I see a lot of people with depression and anxiety and stress-related disorders, insomnia, that kind of thing. Okay, insomnia, it's a big one. How, how do you treat that? Um, well, it's, it's quite complex sometimes. Um, there's a lot of behavioural issues related to insomnia, bad, um, bad habits that people get into. So um, you're looking at um, managing what's called sleep hygiene. So getting people not to watch TV in bed, that kind of thing, just having mm. the bedroom for sleeping, making sure they exercise. So it's quite a holistic approach getting them to change lifestyle and um, diet sometimes, and then using herbs and um, nu nutrition to help, help with the insomnia itself. So yeah. what herbs, what are the specific herbs that are gonna help people sleep? Yep, hops is a good one. Eumelis lupulis? Yes, that's yeah. right. Um, the other, uh, I don't just use um, hypnotics to help with sleep, I also support the nervous system and use adaptogens. So um, for nervous system support, we might be looking at something like passionflower, um, and adaptogens like withania, mm -hmm. rhodiola, eleutherococcus, yeah. that kind of thing. So with um, passiflora incarnata, I really noticed that it sort of slows your brain down and stops you thinking. It's really nice to quieten the brain. Yes. Is that one of the reasons why you're using it in the sleep formulation? Yeah, and it also has a really nice, uh, just a general calming effect. Mm. So people do feel a lot calmer when they're taking passiflora. Great, and yeah. like you talked about eleutherococcus the ginseng, which is a Siberian ginseng mm -hmm. um, at night it doesn't keep people awake it actually helps them sleep why would that be I don't tend to use it at night right. so yeah that's I usually would prescribe two formulas one for the daytime and one for the night Excellent. and yeah eleutherococcus is more for people who don't have the energy during the day to, to sort of get through the day so it'll help them cope through the day but not yeah, not to take a night. It's a little bit too stimulating at night. Great. So this is a holistic, beautiful, all 24-hour approach to yeah, sleeping better. That's right. That's yes, right. excellent. And with depression, um, I understand we all get depressed from time to time. It's a fairly natural phenomenon. Um, there's a huge uh, swing in the pharmaceutical industry to have people on antidepressant mm. medications. Do you see many people who are on these medications? Yes, I do. Yeah. yeah. So how do you deal with that? Um, uh, it's really up to the individual how they'd like to approach it, but um, usually when, I, when I'm seeing somebody, they're quite keen to come off a medication, so yeah. we take quite a staged approach to weaning off something like a, an SSRI, mm. for example, which is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Mm. Um, so I might use that in conjunction with St John's wort. A lot of people think you can't, but you mm. actually can do mm. it quite safely. Um, and yeah, I've had great success with getting people off those kind of medications and again, taking a holistic approach to improving lifestyle and you know, a lot of cognitive um, uh, therapy. Um, so you're looking at the cognitions behind the depression. Mm. Yeah, so I'm just touching on that at the moment. Great, yeah. it's fantastic. And um, with the National Herbalists Association, how long have you been a member? Uh, I've been a member since I was a student in 1999, I think, yeah. So, um, became a full member in 2003. Excellent, and yeah. as the Vice President, you must be looking forward to that role. Yeah, yeah, it's quite exciting. Yeah. yeah. It's very nice to have you on board because I know you have such passion with your work. You've been involved in so many areas of the National Herbalist Association on the board. How long have you been on the board? I've been on the board since 2007. Yeah. Yeah, so this will be my Six year. Six year, yeah, yeah that's going fabulous. Six year. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And with the seminar series, have you attended the seminars in the past? Yes, yes. And um, can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, I find them fantastic because they're pretty much the only independent um, uh, educational series that we have on herbal medicine, dedicated mm -hmm. to herbal medicine. It's run by herbalists. It's not promoted by any product company or anything. So we can trust the information that we're getting. Yeah. And it's always good quality information. 
Okay, I just want to ask you, if someone is feeling depressed, what would you recommend they do as the first course of action? First course of action, I would probably go to um, your GP and talk to them about it. Mm -hmm. um, because it can, it can vary for each individual. It can be quite severe and quite a serious condition. Um, if it is less severe and you're just feeling a little bit down, you might want to go straight to a naturopath or herbalist first or a psychologist, yeah. Great. Have you got a website, Erica? Um, I have. Uh, I'm on the natural therapies pages. Great. And you also, it's hypericumhealth.com? Hypericumhealth, right? yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. This is um, Dominic Finney with Erica McIntyre. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Mm-hmm. <laughs>